G'day and welcome back to Buildsome. And in this video, what I'm going to look at, I'm going to use the readings that we got from our grid survey, and I'm going to use them to work out um, the volume of soil that will spoil that we would need uh, to excavate if we're going to excavate this particular section of our block, not the whole block, just this um, differently shaded section, down to a given RL. Okay. So we're going to just dig down maybe for, a, you know, putting for a house or a basement or something. We're going to dig this down or just even just leveling the block off. Um, so you can start with a level block. We're going to dig this section down to a given RL. Okay. So we've got to jump onto a sheet like this, which is a, what we call the grid method. So obviously we've got a column here to pull all our identification where where our actual reading is taken from. We've got a bit here to work out our actual corner heights, uh, the number of squares, I'll explain that in a minute, and then the result of our little calculations across here. And then the formula is the grid length times the grid length times the total product of our calculations up here divided by 4 that will give us the total volume of soil that we need to excavate for this particular um, building. We round that up to the nearest, you know, whole cubic meter. I'm not going to be worried about too many points at the moment. All right. So first thing we're going to enter is our RL that we want to end up at. So the the depth we're going to excavate to. So in this case, we're going to excavate to an RL of 11. Okay. We'll grab our plan just for a little bit of reference and then we can start to work around. So, you know, we're going to start on this top corner here, which is identified as B3. So I'm going to throw that in my point column there. And the actual height of B3 in comparison to our RL that we want, the height of that's 11.009. So 11.009 minus our RL that we want at the end gives us a height difference of 90 mil or 0 0.090. Okay, so we know that occurs, that's 90 mil deep there. Now that corner is only attached to one of these squares that we want to do our work, our excavation in. So over here in our number of squares, we just put one. Okay, and one times 90 is obviously 90, yeah, 0.090. All right, so that's B3. So we'll work across. So the next one across is B4. Okay, so, and it's got a height of 11.170. So 11.170 minus 1100 is 170 mil, 0 0.170. Now, this intersection here is connected to two squares that we want to excavate. So over in this column, we have to put two. And 2 times 170, or 0.170, gives us 0 0.340. Alright, and we just keep going around doing that. So B5 has a height of 11.510. So minus the 1100 gives us um, 0 0.510. Again, it's connected to 2 squares. So 2 in there, so 2 times 510. Gives us 1 meter and 20. And then B6, all right, it's 11.7 minus 11 gives us 0.7. It's still connected to two squares, gives us 1.4 there. B7, which is this last one here, okay, has a height of 11.850, so that's a depth of 850. Only connected to one square, so we only put one there and that's 150. So back to C3, which is this middle one here. So it's got a height of 140 minus 11, uh, 11 140 minus 1100 gives us a height of 140. It's connected to two squares. So two in there, and it gives us a depth, an average depth of 280. C C4 now, C4 is getting a little bit different. It's got a depth of 360 mil, but it's connected to four squares, all right? So there's four. So four in there, and 
that'll give us one meter 440 there. So C5 is similar. So 11.5 minus 11 gives us 0.5 meter depth. Four, it's connected to four squares and give us a total product of two meters. And C6, a little bit tricky. It's uh, 11.85 minus 1100 gives you 0 0.85. This one's connected to three squares. One, two, three. So three there. So three times 850 gives you 2.50. Um, 2.550. And then across the bottom, uh, oh, sorry, C7 out here by itself. All right, so 940 mil depth. There's only one square connected to that. So 940 there. And then the Ds across... The bottom row, all right, first one's only got one square, second two, we've got two each, and the last one, obviously, it's got one. Okay, so we've been around, we've been around our, our um, excavation, and we've worked out uh, the product for each of those, and what we're going to do is we're just going to add them up. So that gives us a total of 14.310. Okay. So now we can put that into our formula. So our grid, our original grid was 5 metres by 5 metres. Okay. And our product is 14.310. Okay. So that divided by 4. So if we do the top of the, above the line first, 5 by 5 by 14.310 gives us 357.750. Divide that by 4 gives us 89.438 as our uh, total volume. All right, we can round that up to 90 um, cubic metres of material to be excavated. Okay, so that's all right if we actually want to excavate, but if we wanted to make our block just level we didn't want to have any excavation and we wanted to find the rl that would give us that so we you know cut and fill um we can we can do that now so the way you do that is you take the 14.310 and you divide it by the total sum of all these so they all add up to 28 so divide this by 28 it gives you uh, figure of 0 0.511. If you add that back to your original formation RL, all right, it'll give you a new RL of 11.511. If you were to put that into this sheet as your formation RL and redo those calculations, you would end up with zero excavation. So you would not have to remove any soil from site and you would if you put your um, set your block at uh, an RL of 11.5.1, uh, you would have zero excavation. You would end up with a level area on your block with no excess soil. All right, so that's how we calculate the volume using the uh, grid method, the volume of excavation using the grid method. G'day, I'm back. Just to let you know that if you like this video, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel or you can follow me on Facebook so you don't miss out on more great videos.